Hi. So for this question, then, we've got to prove this identity here. And what I would do is start, say, with the left-hand side, purely because normally I've got more terms here, a couple of terms, and I've got to get it down to one term. So starting with that, mind you, you can start with the other side. It's up to you. If I was doing it, I would go for the proof. OK, so we've got proof. And I would copy down 1 minus cos 2 theta. And start to think about what this is identical to. Well, it should be familiar with cosine of 2 theta, that identity. There's three versions for it, OK, as you can see here. So looking at it, I can see that if I take this middle identity for cos 2 theta, then let's just mark that one up there. I can see that rearranging it, if I add 2 sine squared theta to both sides, OK, what I end up with is 2 sine squared theta is identical to 1. And then I can subtract cos 2 theta from both sides and I get 1 minus cos 2 theta. So straight away, I can see from that result there, OK, that 1 minus cos 2 theta here must be identical to 2 sine squared theta. The problem is, though, where do I go from here? I've got to get it down to tan theta sine 2 theta, and it doesn't look that easy. So what I might be tempted to do now is just look at the right-hand side and see if this gives me any clues. So looking at the right-hand side, tan theta sine 2 theta, let's just write that down here, OK? Tan theta sine 2 theta. What's that identical to? Well, tan theta is the same as sine theta over cosine theta. And sine 2 theta, should know, is a basic identity. It's 2 sine theta cosine theta. And I can see that this cosine theta here cancels out with that cosine theta there. And look what I get. I get that this is identical to 2 sine squared theta. So I could work backwards from this and prove that it equals this. But having just worked this side out, I can see that this is very quick because I could take this result here and just simply write 1 minus cosine of 2 theta. And so this would have served then as the proof. It's a much quicker, better version than what I did up here. But OK, I selected this one. How would I finish it off? Well, all I've got to do is just set this up as this statement here. Sine theta over cosine theta. And just put the 2 sine theta, cosine theta in here. And we can see straight away then that this is tan theta and this is sine 2 theta. So in hindsight, starting with 1 minus cosine 2 theta didn't really seem to be the best solution. I would prefer this one now, OK? But there you go. You live with what you try, OK? So uh, hope you've been able to see how I would approach such a problem.